The Wii U is a system that is totally underrated, and I have been a fan ever since I picked one up when they were still making it, and I've just been blown away with it. Obviously, we have the Switch now, but what Wii U games are worth having and worth buying? So in this video, I'm going to tell you about six or seven games that I have in my collection that are actually worth a pretty penny. First off, we've got to start with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Now, when I got this game, I was super thrilled that it came out on the Wii U, and I actually was stoked to get it because I got this, then went on a family vacation, I took an inverter for the car, and I actually played this game all the way to Colorado, got to Colorado, played it, and then played it on the way back from the vacation. It was totally amazing. And I'm super stoked to have this game. And this game is worth $21 loose or $29 complete, which this one is complete. So that's pretty awesome. And that's just the beginning. So let's continue on. And the next game we've got here is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now, to be honest with you, when I got this game, I was super interested in it. But when I actually ended up getting it, I tried to get into it. I just never did so I've never really played this game too much so I don't have much to say about it unfortunately but I remember trying to get into it and it just never worked for me I don't know why maybe it was because there was other Wii U games that I was interested in at the time but I did pick it up and I'm thankful for that I picked it up because this loose is $23 or complete which this one is also complete this is $30 on price charting which is totally amazing because that's a really good price because I know I did not pay anything near that because I feel like no one really cared about this game when I picked it up next up we have a paper Mario color splash and oh my goodness do I love paper Mario games and this game is so amazing I'm so glad this came to the Wii U it was a ton of fun the vibrant colors were absolutely amazing and I really enjoyed this game even though some people tend to pass on it and didn't like it I thought this was definitely well worth picking up especially because at the time the Wii U really didn't have any new games when this was released and I remember going out and buying this day one and I was super stoked that I did pick it up and right now loose this is $28 now if you bought it complete it is $34 now, I remember picking this up for 60 bucks when it came out day one, but it's definitely still worth 35 bucks to pick this game up. And if you can find it for much cheaper, you definitely should. It's a ton of fun and just looks so great on the Wii U. Speaking of a game that was worth a lot of money when it came out, Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. I've actually played this once and I didn't play it very off very much on my Wii U now yes I have played it on my switch and I bought it for like 25 bucks at a flea market and played it basically just or bought it just to play it once and add this to my Wii U collection but if you have this loose it is $30 and if you have it complete it's about $30 as well 30 to 31 dollars so I'm very stoked I got this I have a hard time finding this in my area for 30 bucks. Usually I will find this for like 45 to 50. So when I found this for 30 at a flea market, I talked them down to 25 and they finally took it. I was super stoked because I don't see this game much on the Wii U. And when I do see this game, everyone's like, oh, the Switch version is better. So you should pick that up. So I'm glad to have this in my collection. And last but not least, this game actually shocked me when I saw the price of it. I know for a fact I picked this up at Goodwill for $4, and that makes this even better. We Party You. Obviously, this is one of those Mar or is one of those Nintendo games that is a bunch of mini games, and I love when Nintendo does this because they tend to do it right. Now, if you have this game loose, it is worth $39. And if you have this game complete, $46. Yes, I said I paid $4 for this, but it's worth $46. That is totally awesome, and I'm super duper stoked that I picked this up for that cheap at a Goodwill. Now, these next two and last two games that I'm talking about on this list happen to be special editions, and I knew when I saw these on my game shelves, I had to include these because 
These are pretty sweet and I'm super duper stoked that I picked these up. I feel like these would probably be harder to find now, but I picked these up back when the Wii U was still available and you can find these around and people weren't picking them up back then. So I'm definitely stoked that I did. And first off, we've got Shantae, half genie, half hero. This is the special edition. It has the Risky Beats edition, which is the soundtrack as well as the game. And wow, I did not expect this game to be worth this much. I want to say I picked this up when Goodwill, or not Goodwill, when GameStop had this for like 25 bucks. I was super stoked. And this is worth, if I had it loose, $41, but I have this complete. So price charting says that this game right here is worth 50 bucks. Basically, I have doubled my money, but I'm not getting rid of this game. It's a totally awesome game. If you haven't played it, you definitely should, but it's actually pretty valuable, which is kind of shocking to me. But we've got one more game, and I saved this one for last because I knew it would be the most expensive game, and that is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD with the amiibo in it. This is totally amazing. I'm so glad I have the amiibo. I actually have it loose somewhere on my shelves uh, back there in the corner. Um, I ended up picking this up and then I found that um, other amiibo, the, the wolf amiibo, uh, actually in a lot of used ones. So I didn't have to open this one up. So I left it in the package. This one going loose is $67, but as you can see, it's complete, which means 75 bucks for this thing. Totally amazing, and I did not expect to uh, see this kind of up on the higher end of this list. I figured it's a Zelda game, they made a ton of them, so people just really weren't interested, but wow, was I wrong. If you have this brand new, it's 115 bucks. I've opened this one up, I've taken the game out and played it, obviously but that's a ton of money if you already have this game unopened. So there you go. That is seven games from my Wii U collection that are actually worth a pretty penny. All of these games were worth 30 bucks or more and this last one was 75. That's absolutely crazy. I'm glad to have some of these special editions. There's a few out there that I definitely want and need to add to my collection but I feel like these are some really good games and these are all definitely well worth the money. So if you come across these games and you're like, oh, maybe that's a little bit more than it's worth. No, all of these games in this video are awesome games and not just valuable to games. They're actually awesome to play. So if you stumble upon these games, you should definitely think about picking them up. But in total, all seven of these games are worth $295 the way I have them in the current condition. So that's totally amazing. I don't plan on selling any of these games, but I like to tell you what these games are worth. That way, if you see them in the wild and you either already have them or you don't have them at all, you can pick them up and flip them for more money into your game collection, or you can actually get them into your game collection and enjoy them. So. I wanted to bring those to you guys. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And that's all I got for you. See ya.